cinnamon bear. Judy and Jimmy and the cinnamon bear are in the snow country with Santa Claus. For a while, everything looked pretty wonderful. Santa Claus bundled them into his specially private sleigh and drove to Jack Frost's house. After examining the broken silver star, Jack took some magic snow cement, and before you could say Jack Robinson, the star was back together again. However, it was necessary to let the cement get good and solid, so Jack Frost left it on the windowsill, and what do you think? When Judy went back to look at the star, it was... Gone. It's just as gone as though it had never been there. Jiminy Crickets, this is awful. What will we do, Santa Claus? Now, 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 the first thing to do is not get excited. Uh, Take a look outside, Jack. Maybe it fell off the sill into the snow. All right, Santa. Just a minute till I raise the window a little more. Do you see any sign of it, Jack Frost? No, it's not there. Perhaps it... Look! There they go. Who? The bad dolls. That's where the silver star went. They stole it. Willikers, let's chase them. Come on, Judy. Come on, Cinnamon Bear. Hold Hold on, on. Jimmy. Hold on. You couldn't possibly catch them now. Why, they're going like 60. But, Santa, we can't stand here and let them get away with our silver star just after it's been mended and everything. Now, now, don't you worry, Judy. I'll see to it that your star gets back safe and sound. All right, if you say so, Santa. But it sure makes me feel pretty awful unhappy. Me too. And ferocious besides, garage. Who are these bad dolls anyhow? Well, Jimmy, a few years ago, a most strange thing happened. The factory got hold of a bad lot of sawdust. And consequently, all the dolls that were stuffed with it turned out to be very naughty. I beg pardon, Santa, huh? but don't you think you'd better call out the tin soldiers? Those bad dolls have quite a head start, you know. Oh, so they have. I almost forgot. Uh, may I use your phone, Jack? Oh, certainly. Thanks. Hello, operator? Hello? Uh, get me Snowside. One, two, three, O'Leary. Yes. Uh, hello, Nicky Frudel? Oh, Nicky, the bad dolls have just stolen Judy and Jimmy Starr right after Jack Frost mended it. Now, I want you to order out a detachment of tin soldiers. Yes. Tell Captain Tintop the bad dolls headed due west of Jack Frost's house. Mm hmm. That's right. Santa? Oh, hold the phone, Nicky. Uh, yes, what is it, Judy? Excuse me, but would you please ask Nicky Frudel if the crazy quilt dragon has come out of the tailor shop yet? Oh, surely. Oh, Nicky, how about the crazy quilt dragon? Well, how does he look? Oh, that's fine. Will you tell him to meet us out in front of the big storeroom? Yes, yes, that's it. All right, you got everything straight now? <laughs> All right. Goodbye, Nicky. Well, there we are, children. The tin soldiers will be on their way in a minute. You'll have your star back in no time at all. That's swell. Gee, I feel better already. Just the same. It's pretty hard not to worry when it's getting closer and closer to Christmas every minute. Oh, now you just leave it to Santa Claus, Judy. And now we've got to get started for the big storeroom and meet Crazy Quilt. Mm. Uh, speaking of Crazy Quilt, which I'd rather not do, what did... Uh... Nicky Frudels have to say about him? Well, the tailors have done a mighty fine job of renovating. Let's hurry. I'm anxious to see him. <laughs> He'll probably be so conceited you won't be able to touch him with a ten-foot pole. Now, Cinnamon Bear, don't be jealous. All right. Come along, everyone. Goodbye, Jack Frost. Thanks for mending the Silver Star. We're ever so grateful. Oh, sure. That's all right. I'm just sorry it had to get stolen. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Frost. Santa's tin soldiers will get it back for us. And don't forget... Next time you're visiting the world, you just stop at our house and I'll have Mother show you how to frost a chocolate cake. You bet I will, Judy. Well, goodbye, everybody. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye. Goodbye. Jack. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> <sighs> it's pretty cold out here. I don't know what we'd do without these fur suits you gave us, Santa. All right, all in the sleigh now. Make it snappy. Will somebody please give me a boost? There you are, Cinnamon Bear. <laughs> Ah, much obliged, Jimmy. Everybody in? All right, off we go. Hi, Dunner. Hi, Blitzen. Hi. Hi. 
This is the big storeroom. There's Crazy Quill waiting for us. Hello, Crazy Quill. Hello, Nicky. Uh, salutations, my friend. Salutations. Hello, everybody. Well, is everything all right, Nicky Frudel? Tip top, Santa. The tin soldiers got off with flying colors. Ah, splendid. Uh, um, uh, notice anything different, Judy? Oh, my goodness, Crazy Quill. You sure look specially handsome. Oh, yes, indeed. My friends, you are gazing on a new Crazy Quill dragon. <laughs> Looks like the same old stuff to me. Here, let me see. Well, he did a good job, all right. Turn around. Turn around. There. Why, your patches look just like new. Oh, me, yes. I'm thrilled no end. Boy, and you've got a brand new bow around your neck. It's sure a humdinger, Crazy Quill. Uh, I guess he's not the only one who has a bow. Of course not, Patio Cinnamon. You have a lovely green one. Green, very common color green. Now, my bow. Orange, that's what it is. Orange, a yellowy orange. It isn't either. It's scarlet, so there. Well, whatever it is, they sure took you to the cleaners, all right. Too bad they didn't dry clean your crazy quiltish brains while they were at it. Here, 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 here. No quibbling, please. Oh, don't mind them, Santa. They always act like that. Oh, I see. Well, what do you say we just forget about it and we'll take a look around in the storeroom, huh? Right this way. Goodness me. Just look at all the little pianos and horns and things. Hundreds of them. Ah, this is the music department. Ah, music. Uh, you don't happen to have a spare tuba around, do you, Santa? Used to play in the Dragon Military Band, you know. So that's why you're such a windbag, huh, Crazy? Here I am, Santa. Everything's taken care of. Good. Now, where's that special piano job, Nicky? I'd like to look it over. Ah, uh, it's this one right over here. I'll take the cover off. Ooh. A little white piano. Oh, it's beautiful. Mmm, very nice. But it should be tested before we pack it, Nicky. If I'm not intruding, Santa, I'd be glad to do the honors. All right, Patio Cinnamon. We'd love to hear you play. Oh, wouldn't we, Nicky Frutal? Indeed we would. Hmm. Piano player, huh? Sissy stuff. Don't pay any attention to him, Cinnamon Bear. Go right ahead. <laughs> This is my own composition, my very own, Santa. I'm very fond of it. So are we. Cinnamon Bear sang it for us the very first time we met him. And he sang it for Queen Melissa, too. As a matter of fact, he sings it on every possible occasion. Hmm. Well, personally, I think it's very pretty. Patio Cinnamon, you're a real artist. Much obliged, Nicky. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll browse around a bit. May we look at anything we like, Santa? Why, certainly, Judy. Anything that isn't wrapped up. Gee, Judy, take a look at this peachy trumpet. Um, are you positive you have no tubers about Santa? Oh, plenty of them, Crazy Quill. Uh, but none your size. Oh, how unfortunate. You're really missing a treat. Some consider me a virtuoso. Oh, Why, Santa... It... What are all these toy soldiers doing here? I thought this was just a music department. Well, those are musical soldiers, Judy. They play in the toy band. You'll hear them when we have the big inspection. Where's Cinnamon Bear, Judy? Why, he's... Now, where did he go? Oh, he probably wandered off by himself. Never mind, though. He won't get in any trouble around here. Oh, I don't know about that, Nicky Frutal. Patty's middle name is Trouble. Well, then, we'd better start looking for him. Hmm... Huh? Don't see him anywhere around. Uh, perhaps he went into one of the other rooms. Where does this door lead to, Santa? Oh, that's the Christmas sticker supply room. And let's see if he's wanted in there. My word, what a collection of Christmas stickers and tags piled clear to the ceiling. Aren't they pretty? I don't think I ever saw such beautiful ones. <laughs> 
What's that? There's something under this pile of stickers. Here, here, let's see what this is all about. It's Cinnamon Bear. Oh, I've got his leg. Help me pull him up, Nicky. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is rich. He's covered from head to foot with stickers. Come on, everybody. Let's pull them off for him. Look, there's a great big sticker right across Patty's mouth. And it says, do not open till Christmas. <laughs> no, that's too much to ask. I doubt if our cinnamon friend could keep his mouth shut until Christmas, even though it isn't very far off. Well, here goes. <laughs> oh, well, what a life. Everything's against me. <laughs> How did all this happen, Mr. Cinnamon Bear? Just looking around, minding my own business, that's all. Guess I was still a bit damp from the snow, and when that big pile of stickers toppled over on oh, me... Oh, just I... minding your own business, eh, my little stuck-up fellow? Oh, what a sight you are. Calling Santa Claus. Hmm? Calling Santa Claus. Oh, 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 excuse me, please. Uh, uh, Santa Claus speaking. What is it? Captain Tintop has just reported skirmish with the bad dolls in the icicle forest. Yes, yes, go on, go on. Due to snowstorm, have had unexpected setback. Need reinforcements immediately. Bad dolls are much more stubborn than usual. Seems to be someone helping them. A scout reported that they are being led by a strange creature never seen before in the snow country. Couldn't tell much about it, but it was all green. That is all, Tabby Twist. What strange creature is this who's leading the bad dolls? All green, the scout said. Hmm, I wonder if it could possibly be that... Oh, well, we'll just have to wait till next time to find out. (laughs) 